What I'd like to talk to you about is how to market your new site that you've created online. And now, while I do use this method, it really, I haven't had very much, I mean, I hate to say I haven't had much luck, but I haven't had much success marketing exclusively online. What I like to do is I like to do more offline marketing, but I will show you some clever ways that you can do a little bit of marketing online. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to do a search at Google for you know the type of business that you're going after. We're going after roofing contractors here in Worcester, Massachusetts. So you want to do a Worcester, Mass roofing contractors or whatever your keyword is search and what we want to do here, okay, is we really do, we want to ignore the first three or four pages, okay, because when we, when our site gets picked up by the search engines, chances are it's going to be on, you know, the first two or three pages, so we don't want to go to any people that are already on the first two or three pages. We want to go to people beyond page three. So we'll go to page four, and what we want to do is we just want to scroll through here, and we want to find roofing contractors that have their own websites that either maybe aren't that good looking like this. This is on page four, so they have horrible search engine placement. So we'll go ahead and look at their website. It looks like their website is fairly nice. Um, it's a pretty good looking website, better than the website we have. So I wouldn't even go I wouldn't even contact these people. But what you do want to do, I'll, I'll show you in another one, but check the contact information. Sometimes they'll have email addresses, and you can see, like, we can get this Rob character, the owner of the website, right with his, his email address right here. So the first thing to do is go to the contact information. That doesn't always work. If uh, there is no email address, what you can do is if you go to Network Solutions and go to their Whois um, search, what you can do is you can enter in that domain name, okay? And what it's going to do is it's going to give you different contact information. Like if we scroll down, we can see that this website, okay, was registered or the administrative contact is this comfort zones at earthlink.net. So there's a good possibility that this is the the actual owner of the website. It might not be, but we can get some different email addresses from here. So I like to copy down those email addresses. And I'll, I'll we'll grab another one. Okay, that was that LaBelle. That's an 800 nation, nationwide service. As you can see, most of the listings are just from these different directories. And that Manta is a great place to find leads as well. And you'll see a lot of these listings are just for Manta and BBB has a lot. But one that I want to show you in this this website, this is a gold mine for getting clients. If we go to Service Magic, okay, the thing with Service Magic, I've had a lot of clients that, that work with Service Magic, and Service Magic is great. Like they can deliver customers, new customers to to businesses, but they end up paying for them. Like I have a client who's paying $25 per lead, okay? from Service Magic and they're not exclusive leads. Like he shares those leads with five to ten other roofing contractors in his area. So this is a really, really good good way to find some online businesses and some some websites. You, you just go right to the the category that you want. Okay. Like we're gonna go to roofing. Alright, and these businesses that are listed here these are all paying big, big money to be listed here. Like, they're not paying a listing fee, but what they are paying is every time that they get a quote, they pay some big dollars for it. So those are some people that you can approach. And all I do with these people, either coming from Service Magic or from Google or from any of these other 
um, directory websites is you simply send them an email saying, Hi, my name is Mark. I'm a, a small business professional in the Worcester area. And what I do is I build websites for people. Just explain a little bit about what you do and tell them that you just built them a website for the best roofing contractor in Worcester, the best you know, freelance artist in Chicago, whatever the category and area that you are is, write up a quick email saying, hi, I built this website for you. I'd like you to take a look and just send them an email and send them off to the website. Let the website do the selling for you, basically. You have this website here that's basically, they come to it, they can see, they can learn a little bit about this website, okay, what you're doing, and hopefully in a couple of weeks, your site's going to be ranked on the first page. So you can change the text here. Say, welcome to bestworcesterroofing.com. This website is ranked, you know, number one or number two or number five in Google for a Worcester roofing company like you. It can be available if you'd like it. Just give me a call or, you know, email me back for some more information. And just by contacting these people directly you will be able to get a few sales here and there. Like I said, online marketing, it's not my favorite way to do it because honestly, truthfully, we're targeting more businesses that don't even have websites yet. So I'll show you how to do some offline marketing in the next video.